four arrests being made, uh, one being a do, uh, an adult, three juveniles, and uh, from various charges of robbery uh, with, the, um, with the juveniles to murder and pending murder on the adult until they uh, have a consultation with the uh, Commonwealth Attorney's Office. So they did a heck of a job, an excellent job um, with this incident that happened at Bell Atlantic Apartments. You know, you look back at the Bell Atlantic Apartments and that, that, uh, that complex has been through a traumatic experiences after traumatic experiences. Because if you recall back over the summer when we had the uh, mother and the uh, and a child that was that was actually murdered there also. So that apartment complex has been through a lot. You have a lot of good people that live in that complex that's going through bad times and bad incidents that are happening time after time after time over there. So you know, I, and this is my plea. This is my call to to all these uh, social service groups, community groups within the city of Richmond. You know, please, please. Help this community, come out to this community, uh, lend a, hip, a helping hand to this community. This community needs us. This city, you know, the city is good people. We got good people in this city all over. We got police officers, you know, good police officers because we out here, we got good citizens in the city. You know, help this community because that community has been through a lot. All right? Any questions? Yes. I don't think the gate system would have anything to do with that. That's my opinion. You know, bad people find ways to do bad things no matter what type of security system you have. You know, I'm quite sure the, uh, the, the, the managers of that property took notice of that when that incident happened. But like I said, bad people find bad, you know, find ways to do bad things. So I don't really think that could have really played any role in it or not. It's just that when somebody wants to do something bad, they're going to find a way to do it. Yes, sir. Um, you mentioned uh, one of the charges was robbery. Can you talk about the motive of, of uh, this incident, uh, the, the most recent incident yesterday? And the motive was robbery. The motive, robbery. motive of this incident was robbery also, yes. And the, the victim was, was shot? I yes, think. yes. It was discovered later that the victim had been shot with a small caliber weapon, yes. It was some items stolen. I can't particularly tell you what type of items, but it was some items taken. Were any of the three juveniles or adult residents of the adult in the vehicle parking? Not to my knowledge, no. 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 Not to my knowledge. When you say juveniles, are these towards the upper echelon of the like 17, 16, or the lower 13, 14? Toward the 6, 17, 16 range, yes. His name was Rondell Davis. And how old was Aaron Walker? Aaron Walker, um, I don't have his age right in front of me, but I believe he was in his 20s, maybe? Late 20s? Huh? Rondell Davis, how old is he? 18. He actually turned 18 that night. Aaron was 24. Yeah. So he turned 18 the night? That night of the incident, yes. That, that midnight, going that night, he turned 18, like yes. Before midnight or after? After midnight, okay, yes. So it was the same, same yes. Yes. 